for some alien toilet to park my bricks. Who's first? Hello, Duke4.net fans. I'm standing here with Steve, Vice President of Marketing Department. Hi, Steve. How are you doing? Good. How about yourself? Yeah, fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're here standing because, for, because from Duke Nukem Forever. And uh, we have some couple questions. Would you like to be answered there? Fire away. All right. Uh, can you tell us what the engine is of Duke 4? Of Duke uh, that's, it's a uh, kind of, you could almost call it a homebrew. Like you remember a long time ago, it was now it's a Quake engine and now it's Unreal Engine. But um, I think you could say much like, say, the Half-Life guys are actually based on Quake. And now they're calling it the Source engine. Like there's bits and pieces of Unreal in there, but the renderer, the model system, all that stuff's all homebrew by this time. Oh, OK. So, well, well, that's good to hear because it's a Duke some, engine, yeah. basically, really. <laughs> a known homemade engine. Well, uh, are there any stuff about editors uh, for the modding community, or are there any ideas about that? Or oh, what that's gonna that would be out of my uh, purview. I don't know what the plans are there. Um, I know that you know that seems to be always the case that you know people want to mod and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I would hope that we're going to try to see what we can do there. Oh, okay. I really like the game. I also played it already played at, our, at your guys' stand. And uh, yeah, you had some trouble with the ESRB, PGI. Yeah, yeah. How is that going to solve? Is it really um, the strategy of like, for, all right, here's the game and uh, rate it and. Yeah, uh, it's kind of thing. There's, there's different ratings for different things. Like, for example, showing a trailer has different rules than it does for actually interacting. Like, if you come into a room and it's on a TV, yeah. you can't have some things. Like, you can't have somebody peeing. <laughs> but if you have your hand controller on the hands, you can actually trigger peeing. Yeah. Like the rules are very different for different situations. So yeah, we're trying. So we're kind of navigating that right now ourselves. So we're not sure how it's all going to figure out just yet. Oh, okay. So. Well, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's a little bit uh, a, a question that uh, everyone is asking on that forum. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, it's really a, a release date. It, yeah. Well, as, as I asked already, as Randy Pitchford, is that uh, February 1 is the, the uh, date actually that GameStop is taking overnight orders. Yes. But well, what would we like? Uh, I've, I've seen eight different dates by different retailers. That we have not, a, the date has not been determined. No. So we haven't told retailers a date, so they just pick one. Oh, okay. So it is 2011. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Yes. And uh, I hope to see you soon again. Yes. Hope so too. <laughs>